Good morning. And to stay over at a, well, I had to stay over here. It's a beautiful location. Working on a thermal siphoning wood stove and tempering tank for a retreat. And I got to stay in one of the cabins, and it is just absolutely beautiful up here. A little dark down there in the valley. You can just, the valley's all frosty this morning. Man, is it nice. So, I'm going to be working on that wood stove and finish the plumbing on the range boiler. And uh, anyway, it's just a beautiful spot. Kind of enjoyed it. Just a lot of deer up here. Don't see any right now because I've been making all sorts of noise. But uh, time to get to work. Here, this is part two of uh, making hot water the old-fashioned way. Part one, I put the coil in the stove, and now the coil is connected to copper lines, hammer drilled through uh, the, the rock and masonry, and um, we're having to redo the double wall chimney pipe, so that's why the chimney pipe's not connected now, but it will be shortly. So you can see there's a that little uh, rust-colored range boiler is over there. I'll show you that. And uh, so what we're having to do is plumb in cold water and then we have the hot water coming out of the tank and then the copper lines the upper one is the thermosiphon loop will insulate very well and then the cold loop coming down and then we're actually going to put a drain out so we can drain the system so let me go show you the the range boiler Got it set up in place now. Yeah, I've got my copper lines coming up. And we've got one of the Bell & Gossett auto vents here. So the, the hot water is going to come from the wood stove up in here. And then thermal siphon to the cold out will drop down to the stove below. And then hot water will be pulled off of the top of the tank down to the electric water heater in the basement. Got a pop off here. If we get too hot, too much temperature, too much pressure. And that's going to hook to a drain. The drain I've also got teed in to the cold water supply, domestic water supply, into the tank to fill the tank. The cool thing about this is even when the wood stove isn't running, that this will be a tempering tank because we're up in a loft so this will 40 gallons of very warm water in the summer so you could theoretically take a shower off of this tempering tank and it would be fine so anyway that's uh we haven't tested it yet but that's part two of making hot water the old-fashioned way thanks for watching all right here's the lines coming in from the coil and uh the hot line we have to insulate still we haven't done that yet and the cold line coming down we did it ended up putting a drain there's a drain for the tank upstairs and a drain for uh, that's this, this is for the pop-off and the tank drain and this will be for the thermal siphoning coil loop drain now this might not make any sense but typical water heater we're bringing the water from the tempering tank into the cold side of the hot water heater of the water heater and then uh, the hot coming out is actually going to go to an instant propane so yes this is crazy but it'll be redundancy so uh, the first way to heat the water will just be from the tank being up in the attic so just the loft being warm being hot actually at times in the summer that will preheat the water before it hits the water heater that is running off of the wind turbine and solar and also generator. If we want to disconnect that, we can, and then the hot water can go over and be heated by the propane instant heater, which is going to be there. So, so we'll have tempering, wood, electric, and propane to heat the water so hopefully the propane will never come on and that's the goal if we did it right we also left our existing uh, well troll water tank and gauges but we added two more for capacity and why we do that because of the simple pump 
and uh, so the simple pump whether it's running off a of solar or lever it's going to be nice to have this extra capacity so theoretically you can go out there and pump it up by hand or a bicycle and uh, fill these up and that way the coil will stay full for hot water they'll have plenty of water to take showers so hopefully that makes sense also have a spring <laughs> Just while I'm here, we can switch between well pump and spring pump. There's a spring set up here, and so with a couple valves, one here and one shut off over there, we can be on the well, which is a Grunfoss flex pump, and, or we can be on the submersible pump that is in the spring box. So a lot of ways to get water to this retreat.